Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Life. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel, guys. In today's video, we'll be working here, guys, on a Ford Focus. And if you have a code such as P0141, stay with us. We'll explain what needs to be done, guys, to fix that code. We'll explain everything from start to finish, how we're going to test the system, what needs to be replaced to actually fix that code and, and uh, be able to clear your engine light. Now, quick introduction to the channel, guys. We'll have more than 200 videos on Ford Focus and every car we get at the shop because our mission is to save you guys as much money as we can. So please, guys, subscribe to the channel and like the video. Let's start on it now. So, let me go ahead, start the car and show you how the engine light is on. We'll show you what computer we'll be using, what scanner for the test. And uh, actually, I'll go ahead and even connect the scanner right now. Okay, usually, okay, under that cover, Okay, you can see your steering wheel under this cover right here is where your OBD connector is located. Plug it in. Okay, once you plug it in, guys, the scanner will be turned on. Now I'm going to go ahead and start the car. Okay, and check it out now. Engine light will just stay on. Let me even turn the light off so you can see a little bit better. So engine light guys, definitely, okay, staying on. Now, how we guys, okay, how we guys fix that code now? Pretty simple. What do we need to do? Okay, we need to turn the car off. Turn the ignition on only with the engine not running. And now we're going to go ahead, get the scanner. Okay, and we're going to click enter OBD functions. Here guys, we're going to wait just a little bit for it to connect. It's going to take a couple seconds to establish a connection with the vehicle and after that it will give us a little bit of a information codes found one so we click OK yes so we can save that session if we want to check it on a computer later now we have guys two different control modules it can uh, communicate with two different computers in the vehicle so always check both of them but usually the codes are under the one with the lower digit on the back for our Ford Focus but always double check both of them to make sure you don't have some extra codes and we're going to click read codes now from that point it's super super important guys to actually check stored codes and pending codes why because pending codes means that you may have a code that has not been long enough in the car to trigger the engine light but it may be there so that guy's code could be uh, the one that actually could lead you to the right direction too. So I'm going to click stored codes. That's the code we have, P0141, oxygen, sensor heater, circuit bank 1 sensor 2. Sensor 2 guys means that uh, the oxygen sensor passed the catalytic converter or also known as downstream oxygen sensor. And under pending codes we just still have the same thing. Now. Something that you can do to verify that this sensor is not working actually, you can go to see live data. Okay, right here we are seeing live data now. Check it out, it's loading, it'll take a little bit of time. But what I'll do, I'll just uh, go ahead and start the car now. Okay, wow, live data is loading. And we're going to click view data now, guys. Okay, and here we're going to click complete data set. And we'll go to find oxygen sensor bank 1 sensor 2. Okay, oxygen sensor. Check it out now. Bank 1 sensor 2. We can click that value. And if I read the engine up, it doesn't change, guys. Check it out now. It just stays at about 46 to 465, but it doesn't go up or down. Nothing. So that sensor is not working, guys. It actually should go to different. Uh, it, it should be way more responsive than that. In our case, it doesn't give us almost any movement at all. So we'll go ahead, turn the car off, and I'll explain, guys, what needs to be. Uh, what needs to be done to fix that now? So, when you open the hood of your Ford Focus, guys, uh, it doesn't matter which engine you have, you may have the uh, 1.0 turbo 3-cylinder engine, uh, we have the 2.0, 1.6 procedure will be practically the same, guys. You need to find your exhaust manifold. 
And usually guys, the exhaust manifold is on the opposite side of the intake manifold on the 2.0 engine. The intake manifold is on the front, the exhaust is on the back. On the 1.0 engine, it's actually reversed, I think. But okay, this is it guys. Okay, what do we have right here now? You can see, this is your exhaust manifold. Everything will be super hot here, so I'll never recommend to work on that car unless, guys, everything cooled off for a little bit. Now, this is oxygen sensor one. This is upstream oxygen sensor. This is sensor two, guys. Sensor two, that's past the catalytic converter. What this sensor does, sensor two, guys, detects if the catalytic converter is doing its job, so it knows for sure, guys, okay, if uh, the car is polluting or not and if it has a bad catalytic converter it's going to detect that and in our case that sensor is not working so you follow the wire guys and it comes up to here okay this is the wire for the sensor right here and you just press and disconnect this one guys okay let me show you now and you can uh, remove it what do we use to remove and replace oxygen sensor this special socket guys this is amazing too okay Check it out guys, uh, we'll have the link in the description of the video below. Super easy and convenient way to replace oxygen sensor without that too, you can cause quite a bit of damage. Uh, so I'll definitely recommend getting something like that, we'll have the link in the description of the video below. What we'll do today, we'll replace ours and see if that fixes the problem. If you want to see the replacement of the oxygen sensors, we have the video on the channel from start to finish, check it out. And we'll have the links guys as well in the description of the video below for new oxygen sensors. So we'll go ahead and replace it and see if the problem will be gone. So the sensor guys has been replaced, I'm going to go inside the car now. Okay, and we'll see if that will fix the problem now. Okay, let's, uh, let's check it out now. Okay, car is started. Now, even before we reset the, uh, okay, even before we reset the engine light malfunction, we're going to go ahead and see the live data one more time. Okay, and this is our oxygen sensor. Check out the graph now. Okay, see how it goes up and down? It goes to almost 0.9 to 0 0.1, 0 0.815. Okay, that's one responsive sensor, guys. That's how it should be. It should stay up and down if you have the engine and then it will level itself and it will st stay uh, pretty leveled as you can see it's going to adjust itself but it's very important guys that it's responsive okay when you rev your car up okay check it out now and depending how cold your catalytic converter is and all that stuff uh, it may differ uh, the values may differ but that's how we know if it's working or not uh, we have a video that explains more how to deep uh, in deep uh, information how to test oxygen sensor what to do what to expect and all that stuff so thank you for watching guys please subscribe to the channel for more videos and see you guys next time